take a look at the top 10 most expensive US coins to have sold during 2020. 1796 was the first year that the US Mint at Philadelphia managed to strike a complete set of coins, including all denominations as authorized by Congress in the Mint Act of 1792, a feat that would not be replicated again for many decades to come. It was also the first year that the Mint produced a 10 cent or dime coin in the form of the 1796 draped bust dime. This coin is the earliest die state known of the 1796 dime, what is known as the JR1 variety, generally agreed to be the first coin minted of this specific type. Now, every other known example of this particular die marriage shows a pronounced die cut, joining star number one on the obverse with several dentals on the rim. This coin, however, does not exhibit that particular failure of the die, and the overall strike quality is far superior in general as well. So then, it is possible that given the clear care that was taken in minting this particular coin added to the immaculate early die state, free from any flaws or signs of wear, that this may well have been the very first dime struck at the mint, perhaps as a presentation piece even? Well, PCGS definitely seems to lend credence to that particular theory as they have graded this coin as a specimen 67 and in September Heritage sold the coin at auction for $750,000. In the number 9 position is a coin that might surprise you as this coin is readily available in lower and circulating grades today. However, in mint state conditions, the 1884S Morgan dollar is truly a conditional rarity. You see, when the coin was first released, the mintage of 3.2 million coins was not really anything special. However, unlike the vast majority of its contemporaries, of which large quantities went into storage and bank vaults, the 1884S was almost entirely released into circulation. The result is that that today there is this ample supply of coins in circulating grades, even going as high as AU55. But then suddenly the population figures begin to drop drastically, causing prices to inversely jump in equally dramatic fashion once you hit the MS60 level and over. The current example is the finest known 1884S Morgan in the population report at a grade of MS68 from PCGS, explaining the record-setting price of $750,000 at the November 2020 auction by Stax Bowers. The following coin is yet again a Morgan dollar. This time though, the 1886 O issue is on display. And again, this is a coin that is fairly obtainable in lower grades. However, in grades of say MS64 and above, it becomes a notable conditional rarity, to the point where most collectors may never even get to see one graded above the MS63 level. When this coin was sold at the sale of the Chris Schenkel collection in 1990, the cataloger had the following remarks. The opportunity presented by the auction appearance of this phenomenal specimen cannot be overemphasized. No other 1886O Morgan dollar has been graded higher than this one. When the chance to acquire this example has passed, when will another present itself? Clearly, many, many years may pass before a collector might obtain a second chance at acquiring this outstanding beautiful, memorable, breathtaking dollar. Those words certainly rang true, and today this coin is housed in a PCGS slab with a grade of MS67 DMPL, undisputedly the finest known coin of its type by at least two complete grade points. It sold at auction for $780,000.
Our next coin is not even actually an issue of the US Mint specifically, although it is distinctly an American coin. A very rare gold rush coin from the Utah Territory, although the gold that the coin is minted from was in reality collected in or around the American River in California, largely by veterans of the Mormon Battalion on their way home from the Mexican-American War. Now, this is an 1849, Mormon $10 coin, which is by far scarcer than the five or two and a half dollar coins of a similar design. As of the most complete survey conducted around the time of the riverboat collection sale in 2014, we know that 11 surviving examples of this coin, ranging in grades from VG details all the way up to AU58. Two of those coins are in permanent collection at the Smithsonian Institution's National Numismatic Collection, and another two are in the collection of the Mormon Temple itself, leaving in effect only seven coins that are collectible today. This is is of the meager original mintage of only 46 coins. Graded by PCGS as AU53, this rare territorial gold issue was sold as part of the Larry Miller collection in December for $840,000. For many collectors, the 1794 flowing hair silver dollar coin represents the very pinnacle of numismatic achievement for any US coin collection, and with very good reason as well, as the coin was considered as important to the nation's coinage right from the very start. Mint director David Rittenhouse forged ahead with minting these coins despite having insufficient silver deposits, a coinage press that was really too small for such a large coin, and various other hindrances as well. He was determined to see this coin created, and in 1794, 1,758 coins were delivered by chief coiner Henry Voigt. Today, it is estimated that around 140 or so of these coins remain extant, with the current coin, the Austrian Whitland Willing specimen, exhibiting very few to almost none of the usual problems that plague these coins coins, such as severe worn examples, uh, adjustment marks, which is actually quite common, having been altered in some way, or weak strikes or misaligned dies. Instead, what you see is an MS62 graded coin from NGC that sold for the sum of $1,050,000. And so, at the halfway point, we encounter one of the most mysterious coins on the list, and not to mention, in absolute terms, one of the rarest as well, as the 1885 trade dollar is scarcer by about three times than the 1804 dollar, of which 15 are known, the 1787 Brasher doubloon, of which seven remain today, and is tied for the 1913 Liberty Head Nickel, of which uh, we know are five coins, and just barely more obtainable than the 1822 Half Eagle, of which we know are three coins. And yet, it doesn't get anywhere near the same amount of press than those other, more famous coins. Now the mystery comes in, as the Mint has no official record of ever creating these coins. In fact, an official directive came down from the Treasury to seize production of these coins in 1884 already, after no such coins had been minted for circulation since 1878, and it remained strictly a proof issue since then. So, the two main theories hold that the coins were either minted uh, clandestinely or by mistake, essentially. Either way, this is the Olsen French specimen, which stands as the second finest known of the five coins at a grade of proof 64 from PCGS, and in March of 2020, it sold at auction for $1,320,000. And in the number four position is yet another legendary and 
fabled American coin. And much like the previous coin, the origins of this issue holds another mystery for collectors and numismatists to unravel today. With a bizarrely minuscule mintage of a mere 24 coins, of which 3 coins were then actually reserved for assaying, leaving only 21 to be seeded into circulation. Despite some fantastical theories about why only 24 of these coins were minted in this year, the answer is really quite simple. In 1894, the country was experiencing an economic recession. There was simply no additional demand for dimes from the San Francisco Mint for circulation, especially given the very large mintages of the preceding year. However, earlier in the year, they had received a large amount of uncurrent and damaged coins which had to be melted down for recoinage. When this was done, a small amount of silver was left over, only sufficient to really mint 24 dimes. And so they did fully expecting an order for millions of additional dimes to be received before the year was through. The only problem is that that order never arrived, and thusly an unintentional rarity was created. Today we can account for a total of 9 of these coins, with the rest presumably at this point being lost to history or to the melting pot along the way. And even more fantastically, 2 of these coins were offered for sale in 2020. The first was the Eliasberg Specimen, an NGC Proof 65 coin that sold at auction for $1,440,000 in December. And then there was also the finest known of all of the nine surviving examples at a grade of branchment proof 66 from PCGS that sold for $1.5 million. Yet another classic American rarity now to move us closer to the top of this chart-topping list, in the form of the 1854-esque Gold Half Eagle, a coin which in absolute terms is actually the overall rarest of all of the illustrious coins mentioned on this list. It started out with a basically a token mintage of 268 coins, minted as a part of the very first coins struck in the newly opened San Francisco branch mint on the 19th of April 1854, following the striking of 178 double eagles that were minted only the day before in a special ceremony to commemorate the first day of coinage at that facility. There were no other half eagles minted for the remainder of that year, and apart from a single coin sent to the assay office, the entire mintage was then released into circulation. Today, only a total of four coins are known to exist, sort of as one example was stolen in a brazen robbery in 1967 and has never been seen again. The Lily example is currently being curated in permanent collection at the Smithsonian, and then there is another coin graded as extremely fine 45, leaving this, the FCC Boyd Eliasberg specimen, as the finest known of its type, graded by PCGS as AU58+. It raised at auction a total of $1,920,000. The first runner-up is the 1927D St. Gordon's Double Eagle, a coin which holds the distinction of being the single lowest mintage regular issue US coin of the 20th century, at a mintage of only 180,000 coins. But the story itself does not end there, as with so many of these late issue gold coins, the vast majority of them were never actually released into circulation and were likely destroyed in the Great Gold Recall of 1933. So today, there are no more than 15 coins estimated to have survived, with the most complete survey listing a total of only 13 known examples, four of which are permanently impounded in museum collections, and the whereabouts of another two of those coins currently being unknown, as they have been off of the market for a 
many, many decades. Of the seven remaining coins then, this coin is the former Fox Duco example that is currently graded by PCGS as MS65+. It was sold at auction at the January Fun Show for $2,160,000. And then finally, we have the number one slot taking its rightful place as the most expensive US coin sold in 2020 and the undisputed king of American coins, the 1804 draped bust silver dollar. The history of the 1804 dollar has been told and retold many times over. In fact, I've already made a video about the coin's history earlier, should you be so inclined. But for now, suffice to say that the coins were not actually struck in 1804, but rather much later in 1834 or in the case of the class 2 and 3 coins even later than that still. Originally for inclusion in presentation sets to be offered to foreign leaders, including most famously of all the King of Siam. Today a total of 15 of these coins have been confirmed to exist. And amazingly again, much like the 1894 S dime, two specimens were offered for sale in 2020. The first was a class 3 1804 dollar, the Berg Garrett Summer Pogue specimen, which was a restrike created at the mint probably around 1859 or so, sold as a part of the Pogue collection graded as PCGS proof 55 for $1,440,000. The other coin is a true class 1 1804 dollar, the Stigney Elias specimen graded as PCGS proof 65 and this extraordinary coin was sold at auction for $3,360,000. If you like this video then feel free to look at the top 10 most expensive pennies to have sold during 2020 as well next. And subscribe to WNN and remember to activate notifications with the bell icon to know when new videos are released. For the world numismatic news, I am Numisman saying thank you for watching, stay safe, keep collecting and have a fantastic day.